Hey everybody, Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Let's look at a White Hawk unit that's a true couples camper. I have one slide, no bunks, less than 30 feet long, and it's about 6,200 pounds. This is a really neat unit, has the classic windshield in front like you'll always see with White Hawk. Now this is a 24 MRB, it's a Murphy bed floor plan with a rear bath. Very spacious on the inside, which we'll get to in just a second, but before I do that, let's walk around on the outside and I'll point out some neat features of the White Hawk and a few things that have changed for 2023. Some things you'll see that are consistent, which is nice pass-through storage. I'll move this box and get it out of the way so you can see a little better. There's an outside griddle that comes with this. There's the griddle platform laying there on the floor. There's lights in here and it's nice clean pass-through storage. Uh, this box has various little goodies that come with it, including a TV mount bracket that you can mount, a universal mounting bracket for outside so you can have TV on the outside and so on. Now, I have power in here, lights, light switch here, which controls the lights on the front of the unit. So you'll see this is a LED lights in the front as well as these little leds so it's really makes it handy to find this unit after dark at the campsite you'll recognize this diamond plating up here so this really protects the front from chips and rocks and so on during travel now another signature with a white hawk when you move up from a feather to a white hawk are larger propane bottles so we have 30s instead of 20s have electric tongue jack that does have a light, so this makes hooking and unhooking a very simple process. And then behind here is your battery tray where you can put two Group 27 batteries. Um, all the units here at Vought RV come fully prepped, so the propane is filled and new batteries installed. Of course, it's washed and detailed inside and out for you before you take delivery. Coming over to the what I call the utility side of the unit is the opposite side of our pass-through storage. Again, here's that uh, griddle platform and the griddle arm behind it. You also have a battery disconnect right here. So if you're going to store this unit for an extended period of time, best practice is to turn this off to help save your battery. You can also always simply disconnect the battery. If you're not going to do that, simply turn it off here. And I do have a little light switch in here also, which is handy. Now these units are prepped for side cameras as well as rear cameras. So you can put a side camera on here for safety. It eliminates blind spots down the side of the coach. Now on every Jayco when you're shopping, it's a handy little reference sticker here and it's always going to be yellow. There's going to be one on this side and one inside the door. Two key things you're going to want to look at is the dry weight, 6,227 pounds. And the other thing is the length, 29 feet, 3 inches. So again, that's on the door and it's also over here. So as you're shopping, you come out here, you want to be in a certain weight range perhaps or a certain length range, you can always find that information there. Don't make the mistake of assuming that the model number equals how long the trailer is. In this case, you would assume this is a 24 foot long trailer when in fact it's 29, almost 30 feet long. So coming around on this side, one thing I like about the way they've designed this is they've integrated a little extra storage compartment here. So pretty neat to have this in here over on the utility side. Plenty of room to put uh, bag chairs, one of those easy up tents, extra camping supplies, possibly you know a box of disposable gloves and those kinds of things. Easy to put on this side. In addition to that pass-through storage up there. This is your refrigerator vent. And then we have our black and gray holding tanks that are labeled here. Gray is your sink water and your shower water. Black is of course your toilet water and they both terminate into one fitting right here. Now notice all this insulation that's pooching out here. This is expanding foam insulation. All of these gate valves are up underneath the insulated and closed underbelly of this unit. All Whitehawks are tested between zero and 100 degrees 
to maintain a comfortable temperature on the inside. That's important. So um, this is getting really close to a true four season camper. Technically it's not because the underbelly is not receiving heat when the furnace comes on, but with heated tank pads and an insulated underbelly, that really extends the camping season in a white hop. Now this is new in 2023. This water heater is actually an on-demand tankless water heater. This happens to be a Furion one. So you can take those 10, 12, maybe 15 minute showers. It's, a, it's an on-demand tankless water heater. Important to note that these run on propane and propane only. So these are fueled by propane. You run out of propane, you run out of hot water. Just important note, now you got plenty of propane on board here. They don't use a ton of propane. The only thing that's gonna use a lot of propane on really any trailer is the furnace. That will suck up a lot of propane in a short amount of time. Cooking, the oven, the water heater, things like that use very little uh, propane, but a furnace will use a lot. Fortunately, you can pop those tanks off, take them, get them filled, and bring them back if you're at a campground somewhere. Now our main city water connection is right here. It's threaded on. This is your pressurized water. There's the tank flush valve right here. So you can put a hose on here, a separate hose, turn it on, and that does a great job of rinsing out your black tank. Now if you have cable at your campground, and many do these days, take a coax cable that you'll provide um, between this and your power pedestal. Now you'll have cable on the inside of the coach. And we have a detachable 30 amp power cord right here. It's got a little threaded collar on there to make sure it stays tight for when you've got it uh, spudded in at the campground. We have a hot and cold shower here, outdoor shower. It's great, I love that, that it's in the back for lots of reasons. So if you get back from the beach and you're sweaty, hot, sandy feet or whatever, you rinse off back here, or maybe your pets need a bath, great place to do it. We have a full size Goodyear spare tire. Jayco always puts Goodyear tires with a six year warranty on their units as well as the spare tire. While we're talking about warranty, six year warranty here, the coach itself has a two plus three warranty. Two years warranty covering the unit itself, three years of structural. That's twice what most manufacturers will give you. The roofing membrane on this is warranted for 20 years, so altogether it's a great warranty. It's one of the reasons I bought a Jayco myself before I ever was selling Jaycos or talking about Jaycos. Now, we're on the fun side of the camper, right? This is where all the fun stuff happens, the patio side. So we have an LED light strip under a nearly 20-foot awning. Uh, of course, it's all automatic power awning. I can run it out here for us in a minute if we want to look at it. I've got speakers underneath here. Uh, a little outdoor kitchen assembly. I can put our TV out here. One thing to think about is how you're gonna use the unit. How important is how you're gonna use it? It's gonna determine the functions that the camper has on it, the features, and so that way you'll end up getting the unit that you want. A lot of people want outdoor kitchens, some don't. Um, there's advantages both ways. This is somewhere in the middle. We have an outdoor, what Jayco's calling an outdoor kitchen because I have a drink refrigerator here. Of course, there's USB charging ports here and household current there. I've got a bottle opener there. I say if there's a bottle opener there, it's an outdoor kitchen, don't you, Brian? Let's call it an outdoor kitchen. Little utensil drawer right here so I can put uh, you know, camping, you know, cooking utensils and so on. And then right here, this unit comes with a griddle. So we slide that pro uh, platform in and now I have my really outdoor kitchen assembly here that's all underneath the awning. Power right here for the TV, so if I wanna put that universal mounting bracket on a TV that you'll provide, you can hook it up here, cable and power, so I can be watching the football game here. This unit's small enough that it'll fit in a lot of parking lots. If you wanna take it tailgating, this would be a good unit for that. Um, this is your potable water fill, so this is your fresh water tank. If you're not going to have water at your campsite, you're gonna fill it with gravity fill right here. It's not a pressurized fill. You simply put the hose in there until it's full. Best practice, just put a few gallons in here for a trip. That way you can wash your hands, flush the toilet and so on during the trip. If you fill this up, you're dragging around several hundred pounds extra of weight that you really don't need to be hauling around. What's behind door number one, Brian? 
It's storage. I really love that Jayco has designed this, oddly shaped as it is, a storage compartment right by the door. I promise you, you will use this storage compartment more than any other storage compartment on this unit because it's right by the entrance door. Uh, maybe you're going to throw the flip-flops in here. You're going to put the doggy poop bags in here. You're going to put the umbrella in here. Your backpack, when you get back, set it in here. There's lots of ways you can use this space in here. You might put some hooks up around it or some, some shelves, but it's so handy having this right next to the door. Now, this happens to be the backside of the fireplace on the inside, which is mounted at an angle, and that's why this is kind of a funky-shaped space. But I really appreciate that that's there. This little light switch is a blue light that lights up underneath the steps here. So after dark, there's just enough light that makes it really nice. Uh, it's a safety thing, really helpful for getting in and out of the coach safely. So now in this unit, we have the Moride step above steps. Notice on the White Hawk, we have a wider entry door and wider steps than you'll see in the J flights and the J feathers. Each one of these legs is easily adjustable and it stows up in there like this for travel. So simply pull that to release it, drop down the steps, and it makes a nice, good, solid step uh, system for getting in and out. Uh, before I go in, I'll mention real quickly that these walls are vacuum bonded um, and they're Asdell. Uh, if you don't know about Asdell, Google it, but it's a, it's, it's a really good product, uh, resists mold and mildew over the life of the coach. And when you combine that with the fact that it's vacuum bonded, it makes for a really great, great product. So let's go on the inside and have a look in the inside of this Murphy bed floor plan. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 2023 Murphy bed floor plan White Hawk. Now this is a true couples camper, and it's a true couples camper because there are no bunks, but it's got a sizable slide out here. When this slide out is out, like it is now, it's really spacious in here. So maybe you're at the point in life where it's you and your significant other, and maybe occasionally you'll have somebody come over for a glass of wine or coffee. There's room to do that easily seat four people around this uh, table, which by the way is modular. I can move this table out, I can drop it down, even take it outside, and then really have more of just a U-shaped lounging area, throw some pillows up there, and that makes a nice sofa area. Now, the key here is this is a Murphy bed floor plan. So I'll get this out of the way. It's a sofa by day, which gives us a lot of room in here and it's a bed by night. Now, this is true with all Jayco Murphy bed floor plans and probably most manufacturers. You have a jackknife sofa that we first have to drop in order to drop the Murphy bed down, and it's super easy to do. Before I drop it down, I'll point out that we have storage under here, and there's also a table. Every White Hawk has an outside table stowed away somewhere clever like this. So here it is, we can pull this table out. I can set it up in here to play cards on or whatever, take it out on the patio, which is, I mean, it's plastic, so it's weatherproof, but it's nice that you have this under here when you need it and it's not taking up other valuable space. There's USB ports and household current and a light switch on either, uh, either side of the sofa. And real quickly, I'll just point this out, cup holders in the middle of the sofa too. So when we want to deploy this bed, simply lift up on the front and it drops down. Now this could be a bed in itself too, if you just want to take a nap or whatever. Um, you can make that up as a bed, but if we want to have our big bed, simply unlatch it here and drop this down. And now we have a sizable bed for a couple of folks. Now with every White Hawk, we have this window assembly in front. We do here, I have the shade down so it doesn't mess with our camera work so much, but you can pull that shade up and get a neat view of the stars from the headboard of your unit. We have touch lights up here, so that's a night light. Touch it a third time and you have a reading light on either side. Um, there is storage on either side. That shelf is movable so you can hang shirts in there. And the same thing on this side here too. You can hang shirts as well as shelf storage there. So now even with the Murphy bed deployed, 
there's easy access in and out of the coach through the door. So you can, you can leave this made up. You can even have a little bit of privacy with this curtain. If somebody's sleeping in late, have a little bit of privacy and there's still plenty of room to maneuver in here. Let me show you how easy it is to put the bed back up once you've deployed it. Simply lift up on either side of it. Make sure you latch in this right here like that. And that's all there is to it. And then of course you want to put up your jackknife sofa like that. Real easy, easy peasy. And I might add, you can leave it made up with pillows and everything up there so you can deploy it at night. You don't have to take all the blankets off and everything. So easy to do. So I already talked about this a little bit. This is new in 23. We have this nice lighting under here, which makes a fantastic night light. Just enough light and classy light underneath those dinette seating positions. You do have storage under each one as well. Now, TV viewing angle. The older we get, the more important that is <laughs> watching TV. It's a smart TV in 23. So this is an Insignia brand smart TV. Right here's your remote control. Already has shortcuts for Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Netflix. So let's say we're gonna sit over here and watch TV. Just pull down on this to release it, and then I can pull the TV out and angle it over here for a TV viewing angle. Or maybe we're sitting down there eating. I wanna angle it there. I can do that. And then just pop it back and latch it in place for travel. Really appreciate that. Um, this is new in 23. Not only do we have a power tower that has USB-C, regular USB, and household current up here, but it also, on the very top of it, has wireless charging for your cell phone. So lay your cell phone on there and it starts charging right away. Real handy. Come in after a walk, want to give your cell phone a hit, just lay it up there. You don't have to fumble around with cords and so on. Um, down below I have a fireplace. Every White Hawk's going to have a fireplace. Um, this puts out nearly 5,000 BTUs of heat. So you can either have it on for aesthetics or you can have it on uh, for heat. It's up to you. Now before we leave this area, I want to point out up here, this is kind of the control center. I'm going to step out of your way, Brian, so you can get around me. This is your radio, which is Bluetooth. You can connect this via Bluetooth and then stream content from your phone through the speakers. This will look familiar. It's your J command system where you control your slides, your lighting, your temperature, and all those check tank levels and everything. And you can put this app on your phone and control all these systems from your home from your phone. You also have toggle switches for living room and security and awning lights, but this is different. Very different. This is the control for our tankless water heater, right? Gas water heater says so right there. This is great. Now this is standard on units moving uh, into 2023. So you don't have to worry about those, what they call military showers. You can take a long shower. It's a tankless water heater. You're not gonna be short on hot water for showers. So that's pretty neat. Now moving up into the galley area here, this is modern farmhouse decor, which is one of the most popular decors that Jayco's done in recent years. Smoke glass inserts uh, for these cabinets. All Jayco cabinets are solid maple. All the styles are pocket screwed and glued together. Now this unit has solar on board, so I already have a solar panel up on top. It's a 200 watt solar panel. I already have a charge controller in here. That's important because I have a 12 volt refrigerator here, which is running off battery power all the time. You can expand that to two additional solar panels up on top. Very soon you'll be able to get expanded solar options as well from Jayco or aftermarket up to a, what they call an Overlander 4, which will have four solar panels and an inverter, lithium ion batteries and everything. But for this unit, we have solar, 200 watts, and a charge controller on board. Now we have a stainless steel double basin sink, high rise gooseneck, black matte faucet, a um, little bit of storage underneath here. Always see the pink stuff, that's RV antifreeze. So not only did Jayco tell me it's been winterized, I can see that it has been with the pink RV antifreeze in there. 
This is uh, your carbon monoxide and propane alarm. It's a safety feature. You're going to see this in every unit. A lot of folks ask me what it is. It's a safety unit. You also have a smoke detector up in the ceiling. Right here's where your fuses and your breakers are and they're all nicely labeled so if you have any electrical issues this is the first place you're going to come check. You have three drawers, they're full extension drawer glides, they come all the way out with ball bearing drawer glides. Have a vented range hood, now this is new for 23, it's all stainless steel so it's stainless steel here, 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 everything's stainless. Um, backlit controls here. Uh, this is new for 23. We have a, a knife holder back here. So scissors and different size knives you can put in there safely. And then fold this back for your backsplash. Removable for easy cleaning on your three burner cooktop. Then you have a nice little oven with storage underneath. Neat backsplash material. This is one of my favorite things that Jayco started do doing in 2022. This looks like actual subway tile, but it's smooth. It's a smooth backsplash materi material. It's really neat looking. Now our range hood is vented and lighted. So here's our light. Here's our vent, it's vented to the outside. And then a small microwave, big enough to warm up those leftovers. This is neat on this floor plan in particular. You can get kind of a bonus storage area. Have a little cabinet up here, two little cubbies for coffee and tea and maybe some mugs and wine glasses and then some storage under here as well. It's a GFI protected outlet right here next to the counter. In any wet location you're going to have GFI protected outlets. Oh and boom this is great. So I haven't talked about the fridge in this area. We have a 12 volt fridge here. By now you know I'm a fan of these because they work like a residential fridge and they're larger than a typical gas electric fridge. So this is a 12 volt fridge and it's operating off your batteries. Again, all the more helpful to have that solar on board, keeps these going, keeps this refrigerator happy for extended periods of time. A lot of people ask, can I dry camp with a 12 volt fridge? You absolutely can. Just you have to be mindful of your battery charge level. That's why having solar on board is so helpful in this scenario really deep storage here and I love that they put these drawers these pull out trays I should say so you can store things slide it in there and really deep storage in there now this shelf is removable if you have taller items to go in there there's not a ton of, of closet space in this and so you might end up actually using that as extra closet space we have that space on either side of the bed up there but I love this this is a bona fide pantry, all right? So these shelves are removable if you want to, and, and this can just become a coat closet. So if I want to take these two out and hang jackets and hats in here, I can do that. Maybe I'm going to keep some canned goods or different things like that back here, and then pantry things down below and shoes under that, however you want to use it. But it's nice that all of these are removable so you can use this space however it best suits your needs. And then this is actually a dry erase board. You can write your trip schedule on there and reminders kind of neat to be able to do that. Okay, backing up into the bathroom. One of the things that I love about the rear bath floor plans on both the Feathers and the White Hawks is how spacious they are. Look at all this counter space. Um, don't usually get this big of a bathroom because it's a rear bath. This takes up the whole rear of the coach. All kinds of storage up here on top. Lots of counter space. So my wife can put all of her hair products over here. And my hair products... <laughs> See where I was going to do that? No hair products for me. But anyway, this is a really popular bathroom floor plan because of all the space in here. Little towel rack here. It's a porcelain foot flush toilet. There is a little bit of room under here for storage. And there's room under here too. This is just a cubby hole for, I don't know, reading material maybe. Then we have a glass shower enclosure on our shower. 
have a little keeper right here that you'll want to make sure that that gets latched before travel, which reminds me, it's always best practice to have a travel checklist. I've been doing this for nearly 30 years and I still use a pre-trip checklist because you get busy, you're throwing the lawn chairs underneath and it's been raining and your shoes are muddy and you're late and the campground manager just came by and said, hey, uh, it's about time for you to leave. Make sure you look at that list. This is one thing you wanna do. If that's not latched, this door can simply bang, bang, bang going down the road. It's probably gonna hop the tracks or break or something like that. If you want a pre-trip checklist, uh, we can send you one. We can put a link down below uh, and we'll be happy to send you one or you can download it. So stepping up into here, this is a one piece shower surround. There's no seams in the middle. And in 2023, they, they're giving us a much larger shower head up here, also matte black. So plenty of room for me to do what I need to do in here. I'm six feet tall. If I'm 6'5", perhaps, I'm still okay with the skylight up on top here as well. So, um, yeah, storage. You know, I always forget this storage area, right? I don't know why. I must have an aversion to this storage area. All the way to the outside wall. Uh, top and uh, one of my faithful viewers actually pointed out that I forgot this storage area so I apologize to you as well you can't have too much storage and again since we don't have a big actual closet in this unit things like this become all the more uh, valuable and there's no reason you couldn't put like a, a clothes hanging rod in one of these two for extra shirt storage. Although I will tell you this, as an RVer, I've learned that you learn how to fold things a lot, right? So um, again, we're in a sub 30 foot, oh, skylight too, I should point that out. Every White Hawk has a skylight. Every White Hawk has a higher barreled ceiling like this does. So you got a couple inches more of headroom up here, which gives it a much more spacious feeling. Um, if you want more information on this, I can send you a window sticker that's going to look like this, an MSRP sheet or a window sticker as we call it. It'll have all the options, it'll have everything that's standard on this and more. So this is the 24 MRB Murphy Bed Rear Bat. I appreciate you joining me as always. I appreciate if you take a second, click like and subscribe below. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. And if you have questions about this model or others, or RVing in general, we'll do our best to answer those questions too. My name is Mike, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.